Are you paralyzed by fear? You know what? It's fine if you're paralyzed by fear. It's fine if you've been <laughs> traumatized by Gna or King Cracky. It's fine if you can't dodge or parry like a boss. It's fine. Because rest assured, I have a build for you. It's the coward build. Look at the Dark Elf Lord. You see how he likes to run around like a rabbit? What if we can give him a taste of his old medicine? Oh, he knows. Just look at him. He knows. He knows the moment he's going to drop his gut, he's dead. It's not fun fighting someone who just spams attacks from afar, does it? I think... I think he's pissed. But you know what? And nothing he can do about it. He's just going to sit there <laughs> like a little bitch. I just take it. And I love it. I love it! So, this is the coward build. And it is really good if you want to play like a bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm just sitting here smiling because I know Revenge has never tasted this good. Mm, it is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> As always, drop a like, subscribe, and let's dive into the build. When it comes to this build, we're going to use the Hunter set, the whole set, the chest, wrist, and waist armor. The whole thing because they're going to increase how much damage we inflict to enemies, which is really, really good and very important if you want to play like a coward. When it comes to our enchantments, we're going to prioritize the Asgard and Midgard enchantment set because they both increase um, the damage of our triangle attacks and the Midgard set in particular is going to increase our range attacks based on our cooldown. That's why the cooldown is looking great because we want to be able to benefit from it which is easy because well just <laughs> just look at the cooldown 353 that's a lot of cooldown and i feel like i just i need just a little bit more when it comes to our well our grips it doesn't really matter but i again i prioritize having more cooldown so you can go with whatever you feel comfortable but i feel like especially for especially for the blades because sometimes you might stay afar, enemies may, may want to throw projectors at you and if you just mash triangle with this handle, with those handles, well, you're going to deflect them and if they're close enough, well, enemies are going to be damaged by the, that deflection, which is really good. And when it comes to my relic attacks, I try to prioritize, you know, those attacks which um, are kind of ranged, just like that. And when it comes to the hint for the spear, well... I just went with that for the cooldown and that's it. I just prioritize cooldown as a whole and well this one predict attack is really 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 good and look at the cooldown 45 seconds on the heavy runic attack this is mental and it's going to count it's going to come in clutch many many times so when it comes to the shield i would i wanted to use the dauntless shield but because the shadow star shield allows you to cancel some attacks it's going to be relevant when we use the spear and we want to throw some spears really really fast we're going to use a round of expedition because upon pairing we can trigger a blessing of cooldown and cooldown is uh, all we want i like fury with this build because i just like it and then i like the glaive of daughter that's that the name when you just throw three bifrost beams or i don't know projectiles at enemies it's really good and the cooldown is also really really good we're going full i mean not full range attacks but like 70 percent range attacks and the rest is uh whatever you can go with whatever you want for Freya as well because the way I like to play with this build is just spamming range attacks. So she doesn't do much, right? She doesn't do much and it doesn't have skills. Again, the spear is the highlight of this build and we want to be able to deal as much damage as possible whenever we throw and detonate those spears. So I think that's it for the build. And now we're going to dive into how to be a proper coward. So first of all, I need to tell you how to cancel certain attacks using the Shadow Star shield, which is a very good shield. When it comes to the spear, like the, the throw speed is decent, but we can make it faster. So listen, every single time you're done throwing one spear using R1, the moment you're done, the moment the spear has left your hand, you want to press L1, the black button, very fast. If you do so, He's going to, start, I mean, he's going to grab another spear really, really fast. You know, you're going to skip the animation where he's like trying to reload. You're going to transition immediately and be ready to throw another spear. And you want to do that 
over and over and over again. You throw, you block, you throw, you block. And the timing is tight because if you press L1 and R1 at the same time you're going to trigger your running attack, which you don't want. So you really need to be like, just practice the timing and in no time you're going to be able to do that consistently, right? Again, the moment the spear leaves your hand, you want to block. Just tap it, just tap the block button and boom, you're going to be able to throw, at, I mean, throw spears really, really fast. And it also applies to certain attacks using the, either the blades or even the spear or your axe. You just want to hit once, block and hit again, block, hit again, block. Do not press R1 and R1 at the same time. You're going to trigger a ring attack and die. Second of all, anytime you detonate your spear, you don't have to wait for Kratos to just transition to something else, right? The moment you slam the ground with the spear, just press X to cancel the whole animation. That way, maybe you can actually um, detonate multiple spear in a row, you know, multiple spears in a row. You just slam the ground and then X, slam the ground, X. You don't have to wait the whole, the whole time for the thing to be completed. Just cancel that animation and we go to go. So, how do you take advantage of this build? Well, you just stay as far away as possible and you just spam your attacks. That's, that's, that's all you have to do. Stay away and spam your attacks, especially using the spear. And hold L2 when you want to throw something. That way you're going to get, um, your range is going to be empowered, meaning that your attacks for the duration of that buff Every single ranged attacks is going to be enhanced. The only downside is you can't really take advantage of using the blades. Except because we have so much cooldown, we can actually use Flame Whiplash and Scorch Earth, whatever, to actually deal a lot of damage. So again, you don't have to just stick to fighting from afar. You can get close because that build is actually quite decent. You have decent strength. But if you don't want to just to just fight, just try to dodge and block, just stay away and spam your spears. And because we have that much cooldown, it means that we'll be able to spam our relink attacks more often, keeping enemies away and staggering them in the process. And I gotta say, you can you can actually come up with some fun ways to switch in between them. I like using the the axe one, the Leviathan axe light running attack because targeting people in the head and I throw the axe and I'm already switching to my spear trying to hit them and then I go to the blades it's really I gotta say it's fun it's fun being in control for once and just staying away like a little bitch I gotta say it's quite satisfying maybe it's me maybe I mean you try the beat for yourself and you'll tell me what is your experience personally I like it I like it a lot it feels like for once things are fair this is the way they are wanted they intended the game they intended the game to be played and i love it and lastly because you're staying away enemies may try to target you with ranged attacks of their own and we came prepared because that's when your handles your blades handles are going to come in handy anytime you are mashing triangle just like you trying to prepare for flame whiplash where you're going to automatically deflect yellow rings attacks very important to keep in mind it's only the yellow ones and not the red ones it's unfortunate but i guess it would have been too easy if you, if you can just deflect everything and whenever enemies are standing close to you whenever you deflect they're going to well that deflection is going to damage them which is really 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 good again this build is i can't wait for new game plans because i feel like i've been through hell on that difficulty and being able to get some payback bittersweet with a sweet revenge <laughs> and that's it for the build thank you guys for watching play like a coward like i won't judge you that's the thing there is no judgment here they had it coming they deserved it all the all the way so i'll see you soon i think that's like the last build i make unless you want to see i mean the chest armor being highlighted i think i've done it all to be honest like i've maxed out every single i'm um, trying to take advantage of every single stat from strength to defense vitality to well, cool down, running and luck. Oh, the luck build. So yeah, I think that's it. I think the last video, the last build video is going to be about the Berserker set. And yeah, again, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.